All right, the next optional subject we're going to discuss is the first order language of set theory, which is extremely simple in terms of the predicates it contains, but has extraordinary expressive power. Okay, so the first order language of set theory contains two predicates. The first is the familiar equals, which is typically written in infix notation. Recall that this means that we write it between the terms it modifies. The second predicate symbol it contains is this e, for is an element of, which tells us that A belongs to B. Now what does it mean to belong here? Well, set theory deals with sets, and these are collections of objects. So consider, for instance, the set that contains the first four even numbers. We can say that four is an element of this set. The important thing to note is that order in sets does not matter, unlike many of the other predicates we've been dealing with in this course. So the following set is equivalent with the foregoing one as the set that contains 2, 4, 6, and 8. Similarly, we can even repeat items listed in the set, and as long as everything else appears there, then the sets are equivalent. That is the first order language of set theory. And if there's time near the end of the course, we'll be dealing with it in greater detail. And if there's interest, I'm happy to make more videos on it as well.